Guys, we are back with a new video. It's your boy, Ethan Klein, H3TV Forever, 113,000 subscribers. You know what it is. Love this channel. Love this video we're going to watch right now, too. Saw this on TikTok, and I was very moved by it. And I went over and found the original video on, on YouTube. It's actually from last year. Uh, but man, this is a really good video. It's called Compilation of Gang Members Seeing Themselves Without Tattoos. I'll read the description here a little bit and give credit to Skin Deep, which is a project by um, Stephen Burton, a photographer who took... Um, Headshots, basically, of gang members with a bunch of tattoos and then photoshopped them uh, without the tats and then showed it to them. And the reactions you get are pretty incredible, to be honest. Let me read the description for you. Uh, Ex-gang gang members who have facial tattoos are photographed by Stephen Burton. Then Stephen digitally removes the tattoos creating before and after images. Interviews are then held with the subjects while presenting the before and after images. Many of the subjects have not seen themselves without tattoos for decades. Yeah. Uh, he goes on. The images catch the subject off guard and often create a reflective and profoundly con contemplative atmosphere, powerful, emotional, and honest. Um, these are... Yeah. This is it. So let's go ahead and watch. Damn. <laughs> Shit. I look younger. I look crazy. I look way younger. Man. That's a big difference, man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy how he can't hide the the emotion in a way. And I think I read this comment a lot, and I think it's true. It, I don't think it's <laughs> the tattoos. Uh, I look younger. Yeah, I think a, a lot of people pointed out in the comments, I think it's true. It's not the tattoos that... Um, Eli, I'm trying to record a video, dude. Banging and clanging. This is an emotional video. It's not the tattoos. It's the, you know, the thought of like what a different life could have been for them. You know, one in which they weren't part of a gang and whatever. Whatever hard times they've been through in their life, you know. Man. That's a big difference, man. Oh my god, they like a little girl. That's kind of gnarly tattoos. Just to put F U on your face like that. The zip code. You gotta really have not much going on to put F U <laughs> front and center on your face. And the and that, I think that's the truth. I think that's that's the reality of growing up in a gang, you know. It's hard. Gang psychology is really interesting. Um, you know, a lot of these kids grow up totally impoverished you know uh and the gang is the only way that they have of having family and stability zero opportunities and you know you do what you have to to survive you can really see it on their faces like damn you said like put it back a little i look i look nice nice I think I'm used to myself with tattoos I think I'd rather I don't know oh shit and what damn this is what I could have looked like I fucked my whole life, all right? 
<laughs> Poor guy, dude. Really. This sucks, you know. This this is what we're this is what people talk about when they say like uh that the people don't have the same opportunities in the world, you know. People like to judge those who come up with with no opportunities, no money, very little infrastructure and structure in their life. What's really beautiful for me is like you would see someone like this on the street and most people would probably think how scary they are. Uh, but you can see how sweet and, you know, e these are really just nice, sweet people, man. You can really tell by, by the reaction to it. This guy. Damn, this is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh shit, that's crazy. <laughs> Does that look like me? Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. Oh, hell. Dude, that's so gnarly, those tats. Bro, I'm, mm, yeah, he's scary, man. He's scary. He looks like he's been in prison. Done some time. I mean, you gotta be having a lot, nothing to lose to tat your face. Hell like no. That. Yeah, I did it like my son, man. That's not f no. It's emotional, huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing there. That is crazy. Crazy. I wish I could go back to this one right here. Sit straight up. Damn, that's sad, dude. I really feel for these guys. Yeah, I don't I don't have any tattoos, so I don't know. I think it's more gang related than just being like they love tattoos. I don't know though. I know a lot of people say that when they start getting tattoos they don't want to stop and it turns into like a whole thing. And there's probably some status within gangs too, like how tatted you are, how willing you are to tat your face, kind of just to show your dedication to the gang. But at a certain point, you grow up, you have kids, you got to get a job. You don't want to always be in trouble with the law. You want to be with your family. You want to do good by your kids. You know what I mean? Then all of a sudden, you're stuck with all these tats. That's crazy. Look at that. He's. I wish I could go back to this one right here. Sit straight up. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. There's a big difference right there. It's all, I don't know if it's cliche, but it's almost like childlike, their reaction when they go. It's like they're going all the way back to before they got the tats. And they just seem so sweet and... Uh, yeah, like back to uh, the child before they, they turn to like gang life. And the dude's got <laughs> devil horns on his head, for Christ's sake. And he's just acting like so sincere and sweet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, that's crazy. That's amazing, man. <sighs> Shit. Difference. Look at that. That's yeah, that's weird. This guy got a fuck you too or a F on the eyelids, man. These guys. These guys really go for it, man, all the <laughs> way. <laughs> what the heck? Dang. This is 
crazy. That's like a completely different person. <laughs> the almost speech it's crazy they all have such a powerful uh, reaction to it it's kind of surprising uh almost speechless i would say most of them wow <laughs> wow it's amazing wow it's Yeah, skin deep, looking beyond the tattoo. Wait, there's another one? What's this one? You ready? Okay. Is this just the longer oh, version one? Oh, this shit. is what I want to watch. Yeah, this guy had a really beautiful reaction. He seemed really moved by it. I want to hear what he has to say. <clears throat> I'm shocked. This shit to my mom. She's gonna be so happy. Hmm. How does it make you feel? It's, it makes me feel not bad. I mean, it makes me feel bad because like, damn. What the fuck did I do? But then it makes me feel like... Like right here, it makes me feel like just a normal bystander. Like a normal guy, and then right here it makes me feel like all the shit I've been through. Saying all these years in the back of my head, all the tattoos I've done in jail, the prison bars, the shields you earn in prison. And this guy right here just square, average guy. Probably a, a hard worker. And this guy right here. It's crazy though. It's a lot of tattoos. What did I do? It's shocking right here, though. It's nice. How do you think uh, that guy with the tattoo, without the tattoos, would react to the ones? You're quite the shit. Like if you looked at them, they came together. Oh man, you judge them right off the top. You probably think he's a drug addict, a gang member that's probably this. That, that's how I, I look. Cause before I had my car, I used to catch the bus to work and that's how exactly it was like my wife would tell me uh, you don't feel like embarrassed being the bus I'm like nah cause I don't I don't care what people think about me you know what I'm saying like I know I got tattoos whatever but it'll be awkward cause I'll sit down in the bus and nobody will want to sit next to me they'll rather stand up than to sit next to me or I'll see like old ladies and they start grabbing their purse or like I'll see like a couple in the street and the guy will grab his girl like real close like dude relax I'm coming home from work you know what I'm saying like, but it's always gonna be a judgment thing how does that make you feel? It makes me feel bad, like, man. Like, if they only knew that, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to get this shit together. I ain't trying to steal nothing from you. I'm just trying to work. I'm trying to work. Give me a good car. Give me a bigger apartment. And, and somebody productive, man. Yeah, that's what I was kind of touching on. It's like, as a kid, you kind of have nowhere else to go. But one day you got to grow up if you make it out of there. And you gotta get your life back together, man. These are good dudes, though. You know, sometimes we, we have too much prejudice for people. I know I do sometimes, too. Like, I would definitely be guilty of seeing any one of these dudes on the street and thinking, like, feeling a little sketched out. I mean, what the hell, you know? She's, she has F.U. under her eyes. But I don't know. It's like... <sighs> There's a certain innate response in us, right? As 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 uh, biological creatures with a flight or a fight or flight uh, response, where you got to be able to recognize unconsciously, it's something that just computes in the back of our mind. Is this a dangerous person? Do I need to be extra conscious of this person? And that's what's happening, you know. It's like outside of our control in a way. I mean, back in the day, we had to be hyper aware of our uh, environment and be able to identify threats immediately. Otherwise, you know, you get eaten. 
So that's kind of what's going on, I think, when we look at someone like that and feel sketched out. But the question is, like, how do we, how do you overcome that? It's tough, you know, because they, they really seem like good dudes. I mean, I, without knowing anything about them or why they went to prison or anything, but shit. Yeah. But it's a really beautiful kind of art project to just maybe, you know, make us think about our prejudices a little bit. Beautiful. Skin Deep Project. Gang members see themselves without tattoos for the first time. I'm going to be getting my F.U. tattoo. Uh, where's the best part? Maybe a ta thinking of tattooing my eyeballs. That's a thing. You guys know that that's a thing? Eyeball tattoos. Yeah, apparently you can do it, but it makes you go blind in like five years. So you got to be really committed. Oh, my God. Holy God, you guys. You see this? Bro. Don't do that. Don't tattoo. Ah, that's all. <gasps> hmm? Yo! That has got to hurt. They say the foot hurts. Mm, I bet the eyeball tattoo hurts. Um, What the hell? That's kind of fire. Oh, wait. That's not fire. Woman got an eyeball tattoo and now she could lose her eye. I thought it was a tat where... They tatted the ink coming down her, and it looked like she was crying purple, but then I realized it's just her eyes about to fall out of her face. Let's not tattoo our eyeballs, guys. Let's keep it together. Let's be responsible. If you're going to tattoo F you across your face, do it on your cheeks like they did. Forehead. Eyelids. Lord help me. Yep. Yeah, let's not do this, guys. Okay. Can I judge them? Oh my God. Oh, why are you doing this? You do. Ooh. 